Incineroar's gonna be godlike. I'll show you. Anyways, here we go. Smashville! Mewtwo coming out from Dill, coming out with the counter picks. It feels insanely comfortable rocking that Mewtwo against uh, oh, no. Me Gunner, like you were saying previously. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Actually, I love the way that Proton is playing around these reflectors, throwing out these little beams, knowing that. Uh, <laughs> Knowing that Mewtwo is going to look for that reflect, but and that somehow finding the window in between to land one of those bigger charges. Did that cancel out? Does Side B beat Shadow Ball? I mean, I feel like Proto's just been chilling on that platform for like the majority uh, of this game. He got the percent lead, and this is absolutely his game plan. He is absolutely going to just like never take another percent so that he can just time Dill out. Or maybe Dill will start going for unsafe approaches. Yeah, this, I, he hasn't, the reflector hasn't really been working out, despite the fact that I would say that was maybe, that's gonna be the best thing for me to in this matchup. I do want to comment that like, he's not, obviously not going for the timeout this early in the game. He's just playing safe because he has to. I mean, honestly, it could be in his mind where basically he's like, I am not going to approach because I don't need to. So I'm just not going to approach. Oh, I like that ledge cancel air dodge coming out from Dill. Oh, even more damage. He is mixing up Dill a bit. Trying to slide in. Gets grabbed instead. Mewtwo sending him off. It's Shadow Ball uh. trying to... I mean, the thing is, like you said, me Gunners, or Mies in general, just have the weird wonky timing when they get back onto the stage. But oh. Dill, drifting down below the platform, just comes the rising forward air. Yeah. Seal Protom's fate. This uh, this stage is definitely Mewtwo favored, I'd say. Then again, I don't think there's a stage that would be, be Gunner favored. But this is right there. Able to take an insanely early stock with that forward end. Oh, it could be an opportunity. Tries to get the up B spike. But uh, I believe it's concerned a projectile, which is why it just did not work there. They're prone trying to cover his uh, way to get back to the ledge with up air. Still trying to mix him up, goes for the down tilt, a great combo starter from Mewtwo. Allows him to go for the spike that he was looking for the whole time. Dill taking away game number one in dominant fashion. And for a long time there, Protom had the percent lead and he was playing it beautifully. But, you know, he was hanging out on that Smashville platform a bunch and Dill got that one opening and took a stock at like 70%. <coughs> so now we're going to have uh, Protom with the counter pick coming out. This is the first time we've seen Protom on stream lose game one. So we're going to have to see him trying to play from that uh, deficit. Town and city, uh, pretty pretty okay choice. I mean, you are playing against Mewtwo, who has the ability. The counter pick? Protom plays someone other than me, Gunner? In tournament? I actually had no idea. Wait, no, he, I, I've seen him play Game Watch and Friendlies, but never, I don't think I've ever seen him pull out in tournament. So the thing is that Dill's Mewtwo is very well practiced at dealing with the characters he does very well against. Most notably, you know, we the trainer. Uh, you know, he was doing a really solid jo job against uh, that me gunner. But I, he doesn't really have super balanced matchup experience. The, like, you know, to the point where if he's not using those four, like the, the main moves from, like if they're not going to just have an answer to what Game Watch does, he might actually struggle. And down tilt's gonna be like a godsend in this matchup for Dill because Mr. Uh, Mr. Game Watch being a slightly shorter character allows him to try to space him out a little bit while always making sure to like hit him, especially if he tries to go for like a duck animation where Game Watch pretty much shrinks to nothing. Yeah, not only that, I believe it beats out up smash. Now he also was going for the bucket there earlier. Trying to get some charges well, in there. I think that's one of the big reasons for him picking this character is the fact that he can just not shadow ball freely when he's dead. Oh, wow. Down throw into forward air. Let's not forget how small Game & Watch is. He's one of the lightest characters in the game just outside of that featherweight range. So me too with his insane kill power. Here we go. Dill you know, running in, trying to get some trades going with that dash attack. Down tilt again. I like this clever little use of B reversing. Mixing up Proton, uh, sorry, mixing up Dill rather. Is he dead? No, but this is a lot of damage. 
<laughs> Whatever, bro. So, so Game & Watch might be just out of the range of Featherweight, but Mewtwo is a Featherweight. So that apparently works. I haven't seen that work in so long. That's hilarious. He's dead. Oh. Good night. <laughs> okay, Dill. Rusty is out of the room. <laughs> he had the disable. He had two disables here. He got the disable. Jump smash it doesn't land because Game & Watch is <laughs> just a, he's a small boy. Look at this. Doesn't connect. <laughs> that kill, what percent was he? Oh my God. Look at him, look at him flexing. Flexing his back. <laughs> Is Dusty coming back? Yeah, he is. All right, I don't have to solo commentate a game three here. I had to talk to Dill. What did you tell him? I just put my hand on his shoulder. That's not talking. Yes, it is. It's, <laughs> it's communication. Yeah, communication ain't talking. Oh, my God. I cannot believe Dill just flubbed that so hard. <laughs> well, now I, we got now we got the counter peak advantage in Dill's favor. Uh, But what sort of, where do you think he's going to go? Because if he, stick, if he stays with the game and watch, I can definitely see Dill switching to Diddy. Oh, that is true. Yeah. And, I mean, Game & Watch is very poor against Diddy. I feel like that's a really rough matchup. And that's why Protom's taking a while to decide, because it's like, this is a big moment for him. He's got to pick a character. I mean, no matter what no matter what he picks, he's going to play a matchup that he probably doesn't want to do. If he goes back to me, Gunner, Dill's going to stay Mewtwo. So stays on Mr. Game & Watch. we got Diddy Kong coming out. So you got to make that call, man. Believe in your heart. Personally, I believe in the 9. Uh, I'd, I'd like to see him stick I, with Game & Watch. Thing. So Game & Watch was used to counter this Mewtwo. And even then, he won off of the gimmick. Yeah, he, he, he won a game Double he should gimmick. not have won. He should not have won that game. Yeah, so he should I go back. To, he should go back to Me Gunner. So I mean, he and he was doing really well for that first game uh, as Me Gunner yeah. and playing Me Gunner. He's not actually. Is this actually happening? He's sticking with Game and Watch. All right, then we're, I would be surprised if we don't see a counter pick to yeah Diddy Kong. Yep. Yeah, I mean that's the thing. When when you play multiple characters like that and you lose game one, you that's a huge disadvantage in terms of like counter picking. So here we go, town and city. Diddy Kong coming out from Dill, fighting off against the game. Watching, you know, to be frank, I feel like Dill could have just stayed Mewtwo. Like he had I mean, that game. He just like I said, he just threw it away. Also, to be frank, I feel like he could have gone Diddy Kong either way. Yeah. Like, it's not that, like, oh, my God, me gonna do so well against Diddy Kong that I just... No, it gives him a better here. better chance. All right, but, yeah, this is one of the problems with Game Watch. He's kind of slow. It can be hard for him to get past all the stuff that Diddy Kong wants to do. And, yeah, it can normally be hard to combo a character like Game Watch, but still, Jill has so many consistent combos with this character that, uh... Look at that, 56% already on only a few neutral wins. He's got the peel in hand. He gets the confirm off of it. If that would have been a 9, I swear to God. I mean... It would have been a beautiful day. Okay, Protom's chilling on that ledge. Now, at this point, he's got... He, I mean, Protom's trying to approach as wisely as possible. He doesn't want to get too antsy, especially when Dill's got that peel in hand. Dill is, Dill's Diddy is such a force to be reckoned with when he has the peel because he gets so much damage off of it, just like that. Applies some shield pressure, allows him to spawn the second banana peel in the process. Again, goes for the down throw that time. Yeah, really good job using this double jump there to uh, sort of mix up the landing. Dash attack can be a really good move from Game & Watch, but it's a bit of a commitment. Uh, and so if Dill is able to just, you know, know what's coming <laughs> around it. Uh, just goes for the chair. That, that very risky dash attack to pick up the banana peel. I think maybe you wanted to go for like a jab or something just to pick it up really quick. Because that dash attack is super laggy. Okay, just going for the simple rapid jab. Get some oil in my boy. Ends the rapid jab just in time to avoid that down air. But now, I feel like at this point, Dill's going to play aggressive. And just get in there. And try to rack up damage as much as possible. And just try to close out the stock while he has the momentum, while he has the advantage. And set, try to send Protom to losers. Monkey flip. This could be the end. Potential edge guard. Oh, 
Bet it all on that forward smash. Dude, it's just getting worse and worse for Proton. You know, that nine, of course, could be a factor, but he would need two of them, pretty much. I don't know if he's necessarily so good at getting the two two. Yeah, it looks like he's aiming for this up smash more. <laughs> Is very, it a very dull thing to do? Uh, yeah, I, I, you know, me, of course, Proton has super solid neutral, but he just doesn't know the combos in the way that, like, a pure dedicated Game & Watch main would. And so, at the end, it's like the 7 millionth time we've seen Barrels take a, uh, take a game. There you have it, folks. It's going to be uh, Dill moving on to Grands.